Hey folks, this is Vince with Dance Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to quickly check out Dungeon Clawler. This is a demo, so it goes without saying that everything that you're about to see is most definitely subject to change. You can download the demo right now as part of Steam Next Fest. I don't know if the demo is going to be available after Next Fest or not, but it's worth checking out because, oh my gosh, it is a lot of fun. So you choose a character, and some of these characters are locked. Think slay the spire and other roguelites in the sense that you know you're going to be unlocking content as you play this game but in a typical roguelite you're going to be dealt a hand of cards and you're using mana to play these cards not in this game it's one big claw machine and your deck is actually just a list of items that will be in the machine that you can try and grab out in order to do different things in between battles, you'll be able to pick different rewards and then add those items to your actual claw machine. It's actually quite interesting and both frustrating at the same time because, you know, if you've ever played a claw machine in real life, it's like, oh, I almost got it. I almost got it. But there are instances where you might, you know, get something really good that another time you may not. It's just it's all luck. And just sometimes the claw does not work with you. Now, in between battles as well, like it, you would expect from a typical roguelite, you can like buy items from a shop, you'll be able to like play little mini games, um, different things like that in order to expand your deck and also get various buffs. But primarily, the battles are fairly simple. You get two attempts to pick stuff from the machine. And these items could be damage, it could be block, and block does not carry over from round to round, so you kind of have to try and get as many as you can, just enough to, you know, block the current attack without taking any damage. There are items that do some really cool things, like for example, uh, there's a bomb that will go off after three turns and do a big amount of damage to your opponent but again you kind of have to survive three turns for it to actually take effect there's a hand that turns fluff there's just fluff that doesn't do anything it turns the uh, fluff into coins so you can pick that up and then spend that at shops in between battles stuff like that um later on there was some really cool power-ups and in fact you can level up your items as well and that's the big crux of this game like it's it's addicting in the sense that I want to try out some really cool combinations, but at the same time, I have to also take into consideration the size of these different objects. Because there's a hammer that's huge, and typically you can only get one, either it by itself or maybe one other item along with it. Whereas, you know, a bunch of little daggers that you start with, you could probably pick up like five or six of those and just do continuous damage to your opponent. So it it's really, it's like a risk reward kind of thing. Do you go for the big items? Do you try and play it safe? Um, trying to get items in the corner is very tough to do. It's like, you know, sometimes the claw just misses everything because it scrapes the wall and, and doesn't drop right. So you you have to look at the look at the machine and decide where your best move actually is. And I'm really enjoying my time with this. I got a full copy of the game, like a full a full build, but um, I'm currently only playing like the demo is the only thing that's available to me right now. But over the course of time, as this updates, I'll be playing a lot more of it. Um, so if you liked like Backpack Hero and other similar games that kind of break the mold when it comes to Slay the Spire then I think you'll enjoy this one too. Just be warned, there's a bit of RNG because the claw is not always going to be your friend. Well, there you go. This is Vince. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you all next time. Take care.